Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. That is right, just in time for another virtual tour. I'm currently camped out at Wister Lake State Park in Oklahoma. Man, this is a beautiful place, but it's very chopped up. So I'm gonna do a virtual tour but it's gonna be spliced because the campgrounds are spread out so far, it's beyond the capabilities of Little Red, the high-speed mobility scooter. So here we are, Worcester Lake State Park. We're right here at the park office, and that road is the dam. That's the dam road right there. And then down there, we've got the miniature golf and the splash pad. Right now, we're going to scoot on down the cabin loop. A lot of traffic on this road today. A lot of that traffic is livestock trailers. So there must be an auction somewhere nearby. We're in cabin six through 13. Looks like they all have air conditioning and fireplaces they're duplexes road is super rough is the van gonna see me hopefully I think that brings us to the end of the loop. Yep. That's all there is. Well, we'll head back. Looks like there's more cabins up there. But Little Red is not gonna climb that hill, so. But their cabin. And you'll see plenty more cabins. You'll see more cabins on this tour. Guarantee it. All right, let's load up Little Red. We're gonna drive down the dam and we're gonna go see the quarry, the quarry island loop. All right, let's go. The quarry island area. Well, that's the dam, and there's a peninsula that sticks out, kind of in the way. Park office is right up there. You probably can't see it. The other campgrounds are <laughs> way off that way, but we're going to start right here. So let's get on the scooter and go for a ride. We are ready to ride. You'll notice the little white dots down there in the water. Those are... Canadian pelicans that come south for the winter. The Worcester Lake is actually an impound on the Potier. Oh, wait a minute. I've got to adjust my camera. Yeah, some of these bumpy roads out here just knock this thing all over the place. Worcester Lake is an impound on, I think it's pronounced. Poutier, Poutier. Poto. I don't know why. Poto. Uh, I just know it's an impound on this here river. Poto. For flooding Poto. purposes. This is the housekeeping. And, and so far, to the best of my knowledge, the sites here on the left are the only full connection sites in all of Worcester State Park. That's, your, that's a dump station right there on the wrong side of the road. They do have cabins with 
beautiful patios that overlook the lake. I think, I haven't been able to confirm this, but I think a lot of the Worcester State Park was constructed by the Civilian Conservation Corps. And I think that because of the construction style of some of the structures. For example, you'll notice we have the modern bathroom showers and then we have the stone building. That looks like a CCC construction style. The same goes for that group pavilion down there. There's actually two group pavilions on this in this campground. All right, we got to go down the big hill. Now there are several. Hold on, you can't hear me over squeaking brake. Playground for the kiddos. Now there are several light structures. I don't want to call them Christmas lights because I guess we could call them holiday lights. Here on the on the left, those are dinosaur silhouettes. Tent camping. Beautiful tent camping sites. We're not gonna go much farther. At the end of this road is it's a, as you can see it drops off real steep. There is a fishing dock down there. If you want to see the fishing dock, go back in time to last Sunday. I did a experiential video showing you all the stuff at Worcester Lake State Park. Directly ahead of us is a uh, twin RV site. That way you can have a, a group of folks RVing together. Go down another steep hill. Here on the left, there are more light structures. What I think is a, an American flag and a Statue of Liberty. But since they're not lit up, I don't know that for a fact. There's the boat ramp. We'll get a closer look at that on the way back. And this is more tent camping. And this is this is sweet tent camping right here. Beautiful. Of course, you're gonna want to make sure you bring your ground cloth and a mattress because it's really rocky ground and if you want a good night's sleep you'll need some padding you probably can't see it but that's just a beautiful skyline over there i think that's the stair step mountains or Staircase Stumpin' Mountains. All right, coming around this curve on our left, you will observe the designated swimming area. I wouldn't call it a beach. A little too rocky for that. But that's where you're designated to go swimming. Right now, the lake is quite low due to drought. Uh, most of the trees are suffering due to drought. The oaks are very droopy. There's a burn ban in effect and I have seen people burning campfires. Have you no respect? Coming up on the boat ramp again. 
I'll give us a good look at it because there's, there's only a couple of really good boat ramps on this lake that I've found. All right, there you go. From a boat ramp fan. Back up out of this here hole. So that, that finishes up the Quarry Island Lake Worcester State Park. Below the dam RV campground. There's actually a swing set in that campsite. Or is that a campfire? Maybe it's just a swing set. Most of these sites are water and 30 amp. The pads are pretty rough. Not too level. That's probably the most level site. But as you can see, there's no one here. And only a couple of the sites actually have reserved the reserve sign on them. There are a couple of tent sites down here, but they're very difficult to navigate on Little Red, so we're gonna move on on and scoot some more stuff. Let's go. We've traveled to the Whisper Ridge tent area. Alright. Trusty Steed, let's go see. Whisper Ridge tent area. When I pulled in here, the only only real parking spot that I could find was at this handicap campsite. There was a fire, still cold in that fire pit. Man, it's just, of course, it's, it's a tender box. It is it literally a forest fire waiting to happen. And for someone to go off and leave a fire burning in that barrel. This is terrible. Thought. Anyway, I'll quit ranting. It's a very pretty loop. Right on top of this hill. Look how cool that is. If you're going to do some tension, this, this would be the place to do it. Hey, that tent looks kind of familiar. So that's a nylon tent. All right. And they have a campfire going too. And there's nobody there. What the hell? I'm, that just really irritates me that people are so, so careless. Let's go see another R. Let's go see an RV camping loop. We've made it to Ward's Landing Campground. This is an RV loop. All right. 
go check out Ward's Landing. Hopefully we won't see any campfires in here. It's a pretty little loop. How y'all doing? Well, how about you? Wonderful. All right, we're gonna go the opposite direction. We're breaking the law. Breaking the law. <laughs> this road is really rough. They're not exactly pull through sites. They're kind of on the side of the road sites. Nice big play structure. New bathrooms. Boy, look how unlevel that side is. The chateau has two wheels off the ground. Group pavilion. I like these sites. I like Ward's Landing. Except for the road being so extremely rough. Actually, some very nice sights here. All right. Let's go to the Victor Loop. We have made it to the Victor Campground. And what a day it has been. What a long filming day. Man, there's a lot of stuff. Victor is primarily an RV campground, camping loop. Got a couple loops. Not sure what that old building over there is. Looks like a park ranger house, maybe. Real quick, down to the group camp. Down here they have dorms. A big it has a big kitchen and dining room and yada yada yada. If you're looking to play some basketball, they got a couple of goals. Big speed bump. All right. Last night, I saw a very substantial herd of deer up here by the wastewater pond. They were in that, inside that fence. Don't know how they got there.
we're gonna go to the left first. Mostly because it's convenient. Not a whole lot of pull through sites in Whisker State Park. How y'all doing? How you doing, bud? Sites are very... On this loop, the sites are plenty deep. <laughs> but they're all kind of crowded together. Especially here where we're set up. <laughs> the dump station has some things to be desired. I hate it when I inhale bugs. That's a big old fifth wheel right there. Alright, so we're gonna do the little loop. Coming up here on your left are the two best sites in the whole state park. You ask me. Number 51. do the very final loop. We are done. <laughs> that is, that's about as much of Worcester State Park as I'm gonna show you. <laughs> I think that's all of it. If you're still with me at this point, thank you so much. I, I'm, I'm very honored that you'd stay with me to this point. Thank you. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you that have been following along, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I get to see this kind of stuff. 
I appreciate that opportunity. And for my patrons, I am most grateful. You rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?